All right, readers, what are some other things that have happened recently in our story you think we should mention before we jump into chapter 11? Mia? Um, another thing is that um, Brock and his dad live at a motel. Great. That's important for us to know, right? That Rob and his father live in the motel, um, which um, is not something that normally happens, right? Um, and then we know that Rob's father works for Beecham, who owns the motel. And it sounds like his dad is like a maintenance man who helps fix things. All right. Um, what else? What else should we mention? Haley? Something else um, is that for some reason he has a, he feels like Zestine and the tiger have a connection. Interesting. All right. So he's feeling like this connection to Sistine, right? He talks a lot when he's around her for some reason. All right. And we know that Rob is kind of a closed off person. He doesn't like to open up or talk to a lot of people. Very good. All right. Um, what else? Sister. What else? Jaylene? We met a new character. All right, who was that? Um, I don't remember her name, but I know it started with the W. Okay, very good. I'll give you a hint. Willie May. All right. What did we think about Willie May yesterday, Jaylene? Um, that um. She was kind of pushy. <laughs> what a great descriptive word for her, right? Okay. Did Rob want to tell her why he wasn't at school? No. No, right? But she kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. All right. I'm so glad that you brought up Willie May. All right. Because she's going to be an important character in this story. Okay. So Willie May and Rob got to talking. She looked at his rash. Who remembers what Willie May said about his rash or what it was caused by? Andy? Um, she said that she can cure it. Okay, add on to that. And um, she said that it's probably because of your mother passing away. Can you say that one more time? Um, and she said... Um, it's probably because of your mother passing away. Right. And so specifically, what did she say was causing the rash? Like, we know that there was, like, connection maybe because of the six months, right? The six months time. What did she say specifically was causing that rash? Does anyone remember? Julian, help us out. The sadness. The sadness, right? Okay, she asked him how long ago this had happened. He said six months. We also know his mother passed away about six months ago. All right, and that she said, oh, it's sadness. Of course, Rob thinks she's crazy, right? All right, very good. All right, I think that's a pretty good recap. All right, except one thing. At the end of our chapter, guys, what did Rob want to do? He regretted not telling Willie May something, all right? And he feels like he really, really wants to do something. Who can help us with that? Judith, what does he want to do? He wants to tell her about um, what he found. What did he find, Judith? The tiger. He wants to tell someone about the tiger, right? Okay, and we made some predictions yesterday, and I thought it was interesting. No one said the three monger brothers, right? Those bullies. He, we definitely don't think that he would tell them. All right, but maybe some other people like Willie May or Sistine or maybe his father even. All right, y'all ready for chapter 11? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you have your reading journal, your pencil, your sticky notes, and you're going to jot down important things as we read. Here we go. Chapter 11. <laughs> That afternoon, Rob was out in front of the Kentucky Star, weaving between the cracks in the sidewalk when the school bus rumbled up. 
Now remember, he's doesn't he's not going to school, all right, but school's still happening, right? Okay, and he's out there. Have y'all ever had to like pull weeds out of a garden? No. Oh man, this was a chore I had to do as a kid and I hated it. You had to pull like all the grass that was growing in your um in the garden where your flowers were not fun hey he heard norton three monger yell rob didn't look up he concentrated on pulling up the weeds hey disease boy norton shouted we know what you got it's called leprosy yeah billy shouted leprosy all your body parts are gonna fall off they're gonna rot off norton yelled yeah billy screamed that's what i meant rot they're going to rot off is this very nice no so it sounds like they're talking about his rash that he has all right and saying it's this, this disease of leprosy all right and if you don't know what that is um it's definitely a skin condition um that affects your skin um and is not would not be pleasant all right so that's what they're saying that he has which isn't the case rob stared at the sidewalk and imagined the tiger he imagined the tiger eating norton and billy three monger and spitting out their bones hey norton shouted here comes your girlfriend disease boy who do you think they're talking about who might his girlfriend be beverly who do you think they're talking about i think they're talking about sistine me too all right but we know they're not, they're not girlfriend. the bus coughed and sputtered and finally roared away rob looked up Sistine was walking toward him. She was wearing a lime green dress. As she got closer, he could see that her dress was torn and dirty. I brought your homework, she said, and she held out a red notebook stuffed full of papers. That's when Rob noticed that the knuckles on her hands were bleeding. Okay, so Sistine's walking up. She's brought him his homework. All right, that's very kind. All right, but as she's walking up, Rob notices that her dress is all torn and that her knuckles on her hand were bleeding. All right, so let's make, let's use a different skill in inference. What does this possibly tell us about what happened today? If Sistine's dress is all messed up and her knuckles are bleeding. Jose Rodriguez, I saw, what, what were you doing there? What happened at school? She's probably fighting. Sounds like she might have gotten into another fight. Very good. Let's keep going. <sighs> Thank you, said Rob. He took the notebook and he was determined to say nothing else to her. He was determined to keep his words inside himself where they belonged. Sistine stared past him at the motel. It was an ugly two-story building, squat and small, composed entirely of cement block. The doors of each room were painted a different color, pink or blue or green, and there was a chair painted in a matching color sitting in front of each door. Why is this place called the Kentucky Star, Sistine asked. Because, said Rob, it was the shortest answer he could think of. Was that a very good answer? Because, hmm. Mm. All right, so we're kind of seeing that pattern that we talked about yesterday. Because why, she asked. Rob sighed. I don't know, because Beecham, the man who owns it, he had a horse once, and it was named the Kentucky Star. Well, said Sistine, it's a stupid name for a hotel in Florida. Rob shrugged. Hmm. I kind of see Rob's suitcase again. I don't know about you guys. Is he wanting to open up to Sistine? She's kind of pushy like Willie Mae, right? Ask lots of questions and Rob's just like, because, I don't know, shrugging his shoulders. It started to rain. Sistine stood in front of him and continued to stare. She looked at the motel and then over at the blinking Kentucky star and then she looked back at him. 
as if it was all a math equation she was trying to figure out in her head. The rain made her hair stick to her scalp. It made her dress kind of droopy. And Rob looked at her small pinched face and her bleeding knuckles and her dark eyes. And that's when he felt something inside of him open up. It was the same way he felt when he picked up a piece of wood and started working on it, not knowing what it would be and then watching it turn into something that he recognized. He took a breath. He opened his mouth and let the words fall out. Guys, this is so important, right? He was wanting to stay closed up, but as he looks at Sistine, he, I hope that y'all caught that. It said something opened up. What would be inside Rob that could open up a little bit? Think back to what's happened so far in our story. Andy, what could be opening up inside of Rob? He's not physically opening up, right? That would be weird. Um, his suitcase. What I'm thinking. I hope you guys are catching that. Okay, we know it's not a real suitcase, right? It's more of like his suitcase. <laughs> opening up. And it says that the words are gonna fall out. Here we go. He took a deep breath. He opened his mouth and let the words fall out. I know where there's a tiger. Sistine stood in the drizzly rain and stared at him and her eyes were dark and fierce. She didn't say a real one. She didn't say, are you crazy? She didn't say, you're a big old liar. She just said one word. Where? And Rob knew that he had picked the right person to tell. <gasps> and that's the end of our chapter for today. Oh, no. All right, so take a second, finish up your jots. All right, and then we'll talk about what happened this chapter. All right, folks. folks, what were some things that we should mention this chapter? What stood out to us? Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Judith, what stood out to you this chapter? Um, that she was the one that he was going to pick. Okay. Very good. All right. So Rob told. All right. He had picked the correct person to tell, right? It sounds like, does she believe him? Right? She wasn't like, oh, whatever. You don't know where there's a title, right? She just said, where? Right? That shows us that she um, believed him. All right? Awesome. What are some other things that we should discuss in this chapter? Mm. Jaylene? Uh, Sistine's knuckles were bloody and her dress was ruined. So what does that show us, Jaylene? What happened that day? Um, I think she got in a fight. It sounds like it, right? Okay. I, I don't think on a normal school day, you would have a crazy torn up dress and bloody knuckles, right? I can't imagine any scenario in which that would have happened, unless maybe there was a fight. All right, Haley, what else? This is something that I've been actually wondering for a while. Yeah. Um. We, we never get to know, like, about Sistine's family, her parents, or if, he ha if she has, if she, like, lives with a fancy family, if she's, like, just, like, or her story is, like, maybe robbed. Right. Okay. Haley, that is such a good point. We really don't know that much about Sistine, right? We've gotten to know Rob and his family situation. All right. Just a little... Um, a little spoiler alert, we're going to get to know Sistine's family eventually. And I think that's going to explain a lot 
of why she acts the way that she acts as we get to know Sistine's family. All right, but that's a great observation, right? We really don't know that much about Sistine, right? Other than she's a little sassy, a little out there. All right, awesome, guys. All right, you guys had some really, really great observations, okay? All right. And I don't want to talk too much because I want to make sure that we have time to complete our quiz for today. Okay. So in just a moment, you guys are going to go get on canvas. All right. And you guys are going to go find your assignment and it's going to take you to your quiz. Your quiz is going to be a Google form. Okay. All right. Now, before we start this quiz, ladies and gentlemen, all right, I want to be very clear. All right. That we're all going to go take this quiz at the same time. You guys are going to be working independently. Okay. All right. And I want to make sure that everyone is reading their questions carefully. You're reading your answer choices carefully. And I want you to make sure that you're doing your own work. Does that make sense? I need to know what you guys are getting out of reading Tiger Rising, all right, or listening to Tiger Rising and being an active listener. Okay. So in just a moment, all right, in Zoom, everyone's going to stay on Zoom to take their quiz. All right. Because I want to make sure I'll kind of want to see you guys as you're taking it. All right, and wherever you are, all right, to make sure that you're focused and paying attention. All right, but we're going to break into two groups, okay? So you'll see in a moment, you might get an invitation for a breakout room. All right, I want you to make sure that you accept that invitation. I am going to be in both groups observing and watching what is going on. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so we shouldn't be up and walking around or talking or anything like that because I want you guys to be focused on this because you guys need to show me what you remember about Tiger Rising. Does that make sense? Okay, and it's only going to be the chapters that we have read so far. And if you've been paying attention, all right, and listening to our story, I think you guys are going to do fabulous on this. Okay, but if you haven't been showing up for class or you haven't been paying attention, you might find this difficult. Okay, all right, so right now everyone watch your screen because i'm going to go show you how you're going to find it okay and then we'll break into our two groups in just a moment all right so i'm going to share my screen with you guys all right so you'll find it oh there's our schedule from earlier you'll go click on miss buchanan you're going to go click on reading and then it is fun friday so you're going to go click on friday okay boom there it is all right we're reading chapter 11 take your tiger rising quiz and when you click on this it'll take you into google classroom and it'll pop up with your assignment okay so let's read our directions right here Today, you will take a Tiger Rising quiz based on the chapters we have read so far. Make sure to read each question and answer choice carefully. When you are finished, double check your answers and select submit. You will only be able to take this quiz once. I repeat, one time. Okay? And it's going to be taken as a summative grade or a test grade in the grade book. Okay? We've spent three weeks talking about this story. Okay, you should be well familiar with it. Okay, all right, and as soon as you hit submit, you should be able to see your grade in Google Classroom. It might show you right there on the screen or you come back and you should be able to see it. Okay, um, so, and you, it should take you where you can see the questions that you missed as well. Okay, all right, but everyone is doing their own work. You're not gonna be sharing any answers or anything. You're gonna be working on that on your screen. All right, so right now, I want everyone to go and find this assignment. So go into Canvas, click on Ms. Buchanan, click on Reading, click on Friday. I want you to have it opened up. Alex, are you listening to what you need to be doing right now? Please follow those instructions. I'm going to give you about two minutes to go find this assignment. Do not start it yet. 